okay let us try to prove that 1 by n as a sequence tends to 0 using the epsilon definition so what do we have to prove that means that means we have to prove that for any epsilon greater than 0 for any given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a capital n such that such that 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to this benchmark capital N. So, that is what we have to prove. Okay? So, that is what we have to prove. Let me just write that this is to prove in case we want to use the epsilon definition. Okay, so, we will just assume an epsilon greater than 0 given to us. Okay. So, what do we actually have to prove? What do we actually have to prove? I could write that for epsilon greater than 0, we need to prove that there exists an n such that simply 1 by n is less than epsilon because I just have 1 by n minus 0 in the you know modulus right so 1 by n is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n okay so essentially if we talk about this on a number line say okay so here we have 0 and here there is some epsilon we are saying that this is 1 by n and what we are trying to say is that after this capital N. So, 1 by N all the terms are moving towards 0 that is what we are trying to say. Now, by Archimedean property, by Archimedean property what can we say? Archimedean property, what can we say? We can say that there exists a natural number N. Okay such that 1 by n will lie between epsilon and 0 ok we, we will lie between it will lie between 0 and epsilon and for and for any natural number n ok n greater than or equal to this capital N, what will we have? We will have, we will have 0, we will have this kind of a situation, ok. So, so for the given epsilon that we are taking, the given epsilon, this means that there exists a capital N such that, such that 0 is less than 1 by N which is less than epsilon, okay. And that too for all natural numbers greater than or equal to n ok. So, we have made use of the Archimedean property to reach here and as epsilon was arbitrary this holds for all epsilon this holds for all epsilon greater than 0 and there exists an n such that 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to this capital N. So, that is how you prove using the epsilon definition any any problem in sequences.